But this will be the last time that Kurt Suzuki is putting on the catching gear. His final start in the big leagues. It's the Angels and the Athletics, the first seven years of Kurt Suzuki's career in the green and gold. How perfect is that for Kurt Suzuki to end his career here in this ballpark? Many Mahalos and Aloha. 28-year-old left-hander Cole Irvin, 9-13 and 13 on the year for the Athletics with an ERA now at 4.11. His 30th start of the year is logged 175 innings. Looking to finish strong, and Renifo laces a base hit to right field, and that's a good start. Another well-hit baseball against a left-handed pitcher for Luis Renifo. And here comes Mike Trout. 39 homers, 79 RBIs, and less than 120 games played. Remarkable. Here's Urban's pitch, and Trout on the inside corner, ring him up, a fastball, perfect pitch. So Trout is caught looking, and that'll bring up Otani, who's batting 275. Otani toward left, Kemp over, and then comes in. He makes the catch. Renhifo is going to have to hustle back, and Brown had to come off the bag a little bit, but good effort by Tony Kemp. It was a very long throw for him to make. This is all about Kurt Suzuki, folks, and he deserves all the attention right now receiving hugs on the pitcher's mound on his 39th birthday he's announced his retirement well what you're watching is the culmination of a career a man who started as a walk-on at cal state fullerton and 16 years later with the world championship under his belt will say goodbye to teammates and a fan base that saw him break in right here at the Oakland Coliseum. A job well done. By the way, for Michael Lorenzen, Cal State Fullerton product, I mean, you, you warm up with Kurt, you know what, you kind of have an idea what's going on, but still with the, the emotions he's dealing with also, throwing that pitch to Kurt, he wants to make sure he throws a strike, he wants everything to be perfect, and you know what? It was perfect. It was. Murphy, a line shot, and he's got a big hit. Here's Shea Langoliers. He swings at the first pitch. He pops it up. There's Anthony Rendon. And so Kurt Suzuki, a moment of a lifetime. Rendon leads off for the Angels in the second against Cole Irvin with no score. And Anthony Rendon to center field straight away. And welcome back. Anthony gets his first hit. He's been on the shelf since June 14th. That's appropriate that Ant Anthony Rendon and Kurt Suzuki teammates when they won a world championship with the Nationals in 2019. He gets a knock for him right there. He's going to make a difference when he's healthy next season. You watched. And that is lined out to left field. That gets down. Rendon's going to hold right there. So Matt Duffy picks up a base hit. First and second. Nobody out. Middle of field approach. Successful in this inning. Here's a 2-2 pitch by Cole Irvin. They lead from first and second. Swung on and popped up. Right field side, Capel coming in from right. The is right fielder is there in fair territory. He makes the catch. Renifo with that single in the first inning. Now eight for 15 against Cole Irvin. Irvin has it, stops, fires in time, one away. See Cole Irvin with that slight little finish off to the third base side anyway. Maybe a little momentum taking him that way. Left him just ranging up, gather it. Little ho hum over to Brownie. With Mike Trout coming up. Out towards right field. Connor Capel has plenty of room and he has it. There's two down. Well, here's Shohei Otani. He's working on an 18 game hitting streak. He's on the bump tomorrow. Oh, got him. Oh, man. Remember, because he bats from the left side where that baseball hits him. Better look right there. Yeah, just above it. And that's the throwing arm. Yep. We're still scoreless. Through five, top six. It'll be Trout, Otani, Ward. Trout lifts it. Popped up. And that drops. And Trout's going to be into second base with a leadoff double. Trout at second. Nobody out. No score. And Otani drives that one. Hits it well. Center field looking to extend the streak and run down by Pache. Trout tags up. So here's Taylor Ward who's popped out and struck out. Right now, Irvin's ERA is 3.99. Big out here. Ward grounds it right to Nick Allen. 
And Trout has to stand third. Duffy to right. Capel's there, and he's got it. So Cole Irvin pumped, as he should be. Six shutout innings tonight for the A's left-hander in his final start. Put together another very, very solid season. Trout's one for three with a double. And make that five. Wow, that's a rock. Yeah, that's that a rock. That almost got its way to the wall. That skipped past Mondu in his MOB debut, and he just got a taste of what that Trout missile looked like. Trout's at first. Well, here we go. Shohei, who is 0 for 3, sitting with an 18 game hitting streak. And he got him swinging. Oh. High pop up. Shallow center. Pache says, I got it. And he does. So a hit, a couple of strikeouts for Tyler Sear. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Still no score. And Kemp and Murphy and Brown coming up against Wentz. 0-2 pitch. Kemp drives one toward left. Adele back, and it's over his head. And Tony Kemp is going to have a leadoff double in the bottom of the eighth. And that'll bring up Brown, and Seth is fly to right, struck out, and walk. Brown, right field, and that's a base hit. Kemp read it all the way, and he will score one nothing A's. Soto, Duffy, and Adele. And that's going to be a base hit leadoff knock for Soto. What a great job. First at bat, clutch right there. He is a machine. Oh, and the ball gets away. Soto's going into second base, and he is. He's in there. The ball gets into the outfield. He's going to go all the way to third. Is he going to stop there? Yes. Okay. Take that. A break. Couple breaks. Look, Look at that energy. That's awesome. Even Soto off the bench. And it gets through for a hit. RBI single, Matt Duffy. Soto scores, and we are tied. Clutch. Matt Duffy, contact hitter, infield in. Chance to get it by the infielder. Ties it up. So an intentional walk to Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. He's got an 18 game hitting streak on the line. Shohei Otani one more time. And he drives one to center field. Hit well going back. And he caught it up against the wall. Seth Brown. He may have saved the game. Now it's up to Shea Langoliers. He's got to get a strike. 3 2 pitch. He walked him, and this ball game is over. A bases loaded walk, and the Athletics walk off.